Hello everyone and welcome to the Learning Keys Golf Studios. If you've been following our series of videos, you know that we showcase all the unique products that we carry in our store and online. Today we've got a product that we, um, we've been associated with since they first came up with it, um, what, two, three years ago now. It's called Swing Bite. And um, Swing Bite it was the first in a whole generation of uh, swing analyzers that came out, as I said, about three years ago. And uh, <coughs> the great thing about Swing Bite is it's easy to use. The uh, data that it gives you is absolutely fantastic. And the clincher for us is the software and the entire platform that allows you to do your swing analysis and um, it allows you with your own personal account to store all your details in the cloud. So, um, it's, it was really the first um, and then from after Swing By, there have been many swing analyzers that have come and gone. But really this one here is for keeps. And uh, today we're going to show you exactly what makes Swing Bite special and why it's going to help you improve your golf game. Essentially, it's a device that comes just like this. It's uh, about bigger than a, a thumb drive or flash drive and uh, it connects via Bluetooth to any mobile device that you have, whether it's uh, iOS driven or Android driven, it connects via Bluetooth. So, all you do is you hook it up to your club, whichever club that you're using, as I've done so, it's uh, unobtrusive, so it doesn't add much weight at all to your club and uh, it, neither is it going to interfere with your golf swing or your grip. So, you just line up the uh, leading edge of the golf club with the uh, alignment notch, which is on the swing bite itself and that's really easy to do. So once you've done that, you just sort of hook it on and it's got quite a secure uh, latch mechanism that attaches to the shaft of the club. Once you've done that, you just press and hold the on button and what you get is you will then be able to uh, pair it with your um, device. It can be, in this case, we're going to be using it together with an iPad. It could be your mobile, mobile phone, as I said, Android or uh, iOS, it doesn't matter. It works on both platforms. So once you've uh, done the necessary pairing, it comes with a free app that you download from either the iOS store or from Google Marketplace. And once you've downloaded the app, as I said, you just pair it and all your data will then go into the app and come out on your mobile device for you to view and do your analysis. Let's just take you through exactly how it works. So picture yourself, you can be using this either at the range or you can be using it at home. Um, it works great in both ways. So let's say you are at home um, and you have a net set up and you want to be able to work on your golf swing because you don't have time to go to the range. That's where Swing Bite really comes in very handy. Okay, so we've made the swing and now let's have a look at um, what's so unique about the app and the actual analysis. Let's just have a look at some of the static data. The green line that you see there um, is the shaft plane at address and the grey line that you see is the ball flight based on the swing that was just made. This is quite typical of um, a shot that I normally hit, uh, mine is a slight draw so the ball typically starts off to the right and then comes in. So let's have a look at the, the other important thing to point out is uh, consistent swings do not deviate too much from the shaft plane going back and coming down because any deviation going back or coming down will result in compensatory moves that you need to make to be able to make consistent impact. So let's have a look at the swing in its entirety. So um, that's what it was. This is a down the line view. So you can pause at any point, quarter swing, half swing, at the top of your swing, three quarter and at impact. And you'll get all your respective data at each point in the swing. 
It is absolutely critical in the process of improving as a golfer to know exactly where your swing is at this point in time. So that serves as a blueprint for your subsequent improvement. If you don't know where your swing is at any point in time, it's going to be very hard to make improvements because you'll essentially be stabbing in the dark. So if you want to have a look at the uh, overhead swing, and uh, you go ahead and make a so that's the view of the golf swing from the top. Generally, the lines, the red lines, are indicative of your backswing and follow through. And of course, the white line is the path of the ball. And now let's have a look at the face-on view. This is also a very interesting view because good golf swings will generally see you having a broader backswing arc and a narrower downswing arc. And that's correct because as you come down, you want to move your weight slightly to the left through your hip rotation and that would see you having a narrower downswing arc. Let's see if that's the case with my swing. Backswing and downswing. Exactly as I said, the uh, downswing arc is narrower and you can even see through pass impact. So that's the visual representation of the swing. Let's have a look at the data. So um, the club head speed is given, swing tempo, just something to mention about swing tempo. Ideal tour tempo is 3.5 and swing tempo as we know is the amount of time taken for you to go from start to the top uh, over the amount of time taken for you to go from the top to the bottom. So the idea behind swing tempo is to be consistent no matter what club you use to have a same consistent swing tempo. So mine is pretty much it's okay. And then you've got all your other parameters here, your face to address uh, angle, your face to path, your club path. In this case, I have an in to out swing which is correctly represented there. Um, lie angle, whether your club is a little more upright or less upright. Club loft, attack angle, are you coming down on the ball with forward shaft lean or are you leaning back uh, on the ball? So in this case, the attack angle is down. Now, if any of these parameters um, are not something that you easily understand, there's um, information icons that you can click on and they would explain exactly what um, that parameter is trying to measure. So this is a very helpful thing for folks who uh, have very little idea about what club path is, what lie angle is, what face to path angle is and so on. Don't worry too much about it because this is very very easy to understand as you use swing by. The other cool thing about the uh, um, app is you've got a history of all your swings uh, that are stored so you can pull up any swing at any point in time and the uh, um, history also gives you the kind of shot that you've been hitting and Trust me, if you've hit 10 shots and all 10 of them say that it's a slice or a fade, chances are you have a slice or a fade. So the numbers don't lie and that's the, the, the great thing about um, getting figures because these are completely objective and serve as a basis for you to work on improving your swing. You could compare your swing with uh, either one of your earlier swings or even with a swing of a pro. So all you've got to do is select whichever swing that you want to compare it with. Let's just... Uh... And the first time when you set up your account, you'll be asked to set up exactly the golf bank that you have. You can add in the different clubs that you have, exactly the lofts that you have as well. Uh, you'll be asked for certain measurements with regards to your, your physical characteristics. And all of these serve towards uh, providing you with a more accurate anal analysis of your swing. And another very, very nice function that we absolutely love is, and a lot of pros like it too, is the uh, function called record. Now you could then record your actual swing um, using your mobile device and then you will be able to compare in fact let me see if I can pull pull something out from so this is another video and you can see that both swings are completely in sync so as I bring the slider the back and through you'd see that they mirror um, the actual swing. 
So that's really one of the one of the key features of uh, the uh, Swing By app because of the analysis that it lets you do with your swing and you can even draw lines um, wherever to maybe you want to work on your spine angle and so on. Uh, all of these things are available and they come together with the app. So Swing By is really much more than just the device. It is um, a complete analysis um, equals more or, 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 or piece of equipment, if you will, because the device is just one way for you to capture your data, but it's really with the app that it all comes together in a complete package. And really for something that sells at the price that a Swing Byte does, um, it's really cannot be beaten in terms of uh, its value proposition. So Swing Byte, fantastic little piece of kit that is definitely going to help you improve your game. If you haven't tried Swing Byte or if you would like to try it, come down to our, our uh, golf studios, we'll be happy to give you a demo. Or if you want to get your hands on one, go to www.thelearningtea.com. Let us know what you think about this device and how it has helped the golf game. Thank you very much and have a nice day.